Hey, Coos from Chucking and Mosh here. Today we've got Lachlan from Nuclear Summer here. How are you going? Good, man. Good, man. Good. Yeah. Now, we just watched you play some songs from your debut album. How's that all going so far? Uh, the response has been pretty good, uh, pretty positive, I think. Um, we've exceeded a lot of people's expectations, which I guess is kind of cool. Uh, yeah. Now, you've come straight out with an album. You've haven't really done much before that. They're we no, had a three track. No EP or, yes. Yeah. So yeah. straight to an album. Is that just uh, a decision made by the band you want to come out firing flat out? Um, well, I guess the plan always was after we put the demo out was to just start writing towards an album. Uh, the album isn't exactly what we had, had planned to do in the way that a few of the songs on there were supposed to have just stayed on the demo and never be redone. And there's a couple of songs that maybe we didn't think were quite up to album level, but um, our guitarist Jackson basically booked some tickets to go to the States and Europe for three or four months, and so we had a bit of a deadline. We're like, well, if we don't get recorded before we lose, we we'll lose all the momentum. So we had ten songs that we kept at that stage, kept in the set or whatever, and so we just thought, like, well, let's just record the ten songs we have and make them the best we can, and that became the album. Now the style you guys are playing, it's slightly different to what we're expecting you to come out with with most yeah. of your stuff, the Ironhide stuff, you're obviously hell of a lot more aggressive coming out yeah. with things. This is a bit different, how have you found that? Um, well it's, it's, been, it's been good I guess, Ironhide was already on the go when Nuclear Summer started and the whole dual vocal thing makes it a bit harder for it, you know, just to like let shit flow. Naturally, it's got to be a bit more pre-planned and uh, negotiated with another vocalist with me because uh, it's it good to be able to just kind of uh, let, I guess, a different side of my emotions and thoughts and feelings just kind of flow out. And uh, I guess early on, I used to sort of think that Ironhide was like the more fun live band and Nuclear Summer was the more fun sort of jam, studio, whatever band, because I got to explore a lot more of my range and... But, I guess towards the end of Ironhide and you know, some starting to take off, um, just being able to look after the vast majority of the work as myself and, you know, they're getting stuck into the keys and stuff is really satisfying and creatively. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, just after doing a few bands where I was just mostly screaming all the time, it's, um, a lot more challenging and satisfying for what we're going to Yeah, yeah. What do you think? We think the album's going pretty well. You guys have pretty much jumped straight into a tour yes. as soon as you've released it. You've only done it for a handful of shows in Brisbane prior to this. Um, yeah, it was funny. I was looking at our website the other day actually and because we had a list of all the shows we've done. It's like past shows and upcoming shows and this is before the tour started. The upcoming shows is almost as big yeah. as the amount of past shows we've done. So I think that's off the top of my head maybe like maybe we've done 20, yeah, 20, 20 shows. Yeah. Maybe a bit more but not that many. Right. Thanks for joining us. Check Thanks. out Nuclear Summer. To which consciousness can be counseled